Hi, I'm Rupert Schofield, President and CEO of Finca International, the microfinance network. I'm here in the Republic of Georgia overlooking the beautiful capital city of Tbilisi. I'm here for a very special purpose, the inauguration of our commercial bank. We began working here in 1998 in Georgia and we've grown to serve over 50,000 clients and have 750 employees. I'm looking forward this week to spending time with as many of the clients and employees as I can to learn what we can do better to serve them. And how long have you worked with Finca? Uh, I'm working for Finca 10 years already. Wow. And, uh, and, and you started out as what? Uh, I started as an auditor. Uh, six years already, I'm working for Finca as a regional manager. Uh, from the beginning, I had uh, four branches only, and today I have 14 branches. Wow. And you think of one client who especially you've seen big changes in their life? Because you know, our, our, uh, our uh, sure. tagline is to be small loans, big changes. Sure, number of clients. Uh, they began from uh, one small room, one uh, very little service, and today they have big businesses. And uh, when they are uh, passing the big thanks to us, to Finca, we are proud of them. We have a lot of clients, with big changes in their life with work with Finca. Mm -hmm. and what I can about? show you today okay. <laughs> this client. Good, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Auntie. Nice to meet you. I'm very glad to see you. Tia Milkadze lives on a small farm on the outskirts of Gori with her husband and three children. Although she was born in a city, Tia always dreamed of living in the country and running her own farm. Through a series of progressively larger loans, Finca made her dream possible, financing first the purchase of a cow, then chickens, and most recently a piggery. Her cheese and milk are so popular, people come all the way out from the city to buy it. What, what's this one's name? <laughs> He's going to run out. It's called Bura. Does she ever think of selling them, or is she just going to keep growing them here? No, I'm not going to sell them. I'm no. going to increase my store. Um, so, how about the service from Finca? Any anything we can do better? that we can uh, improve on. Hardeba shimsa ro 10 da 20000 kondes da tavis gemonebit rogots da shchirdeba tegre da khat. He says that he will need to have an opportunity to put like small money to find a safe place for their money savings because getting their children older they will be ready for future. They will have like financial support from their parents. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, we'll uh, we will be ready to provide that service in February. Just one more month. Uh, well, we're very proud of you. We're very uh, happy to have you as a client, and uh, we will be here when you need us to help you continue to grow. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come <laughs> on, <laughs>
Ksenia Betadzi is 61 years old and a seamstress who works at the Gori Market. In 2008, with her home in urgent need of repair, she looked unsuccessfully for financing from the local banks. A friend referred her to Finca, and we were able to help. Since then, her business has prospered, allowing her to not only expand her own shop, but also help her son launch a taxi business. How long has she had this sewing machine? For more than 20 years. 20 years? Wow. So, do, uh, do you know that Fink is going to be offering savings accounts next month? When would you be interested in that, having a savings account? She said that uh, it will be very good to, to, have, to have the savings. She no. said that right now she has money in her house, mm. but she uh, did not apply to the other banks because she needs to find a, a reliable financial partner. Whatever we can do to help you in your business, you can count on Pink. Nanuli Nudsubidzi lives in Gori, Georgia, near the railway station. She started her business 30 years ago, shortly after her husband died. She has a small kiosk on the platform selling a very popular meat-filled fried bread she prepares in her home. She took her first loan from Finca in 2009 and is now on her sixth cycle. You should taste it. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. She's very famous. In Gori, everyone knows about Aunt Nanuli's She wants me to tell you that she lost her loan already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. How long has she had? How long have you had him as a loan officer? Uh. And what's, what makes him so special? He's very warm. He knows how to treat the customer. Uh, we have very, uh, he serves very good. She said that she had offer from the other bank, but she did not receive her money. Uh -huh. So we had a terrific visit here in Georgia. We met with some wonderful clients and we were able to watch them interact with our credit officers and staff and see how they are really living the Finca brand of warmth, trust, and responsible banking. We also had an energetic, exciting launch of the bank. We invited all 750 of our employees to celebrate with us. And I'm leaving Georgia with very fond memories and feeling very optimistic about our future here.